Hi, my name is Annie and I am a Christian homeschooling mum here in Adelaide, South Australia. I would love to show you through the curriculum that we have used for our four-year-old daughter. She's almost five. We started it at the start of 2021. It is a Charlotte Mason focused program called Gentle Classical Preschool Level 2. So I purchased the PDF and did all the printing myself. It has recently changed its name to Primer. So just for those aware that are wanting to shop online. Um, so I'm just going to give you a flick through so you can have a good look inside this program. So this is the um, teacher's guide um, and this is written by a lady called Erin. She's a mum, she's American um, and I have purchased the, um, the PDF um, of this program, um, the full program and basically um, printed it all myself and binded it all myself um, and have put um, sections into different folders and things. Um, so I really love the program. Um, I really wanted something that was very heavy literature based. Um, I felt like growing up I didn't have, um, wasn't exposed maybe to a lot of great literature and didn't really know where to start um, in regards to just different children's stories and things and I also just um, wanted to just get a really good head start on the Charlotte Mason method which I um, gravitated to and just um, really wanted to learn because I have never homeschooled before so um, I've really enjoyed this um, another great thing that this program comes with is the um, big board that I quite liked so um, that's the board up there I'll go through that um, soon but yeah I really liked that idea of just being able to display things quite easily for the kids um, so yeah, all right, I'll give you a flick through. So um, I'm not gonna show you through the whole curriculum. Obviously you can actually download it for free. Um, another name for this now is the Primer um, and not really much has changed. It's just the name, um, but yeah. So I just have these little tickets in here. Um, so if I'm flicking through to this week, um, she's laid it out just really, really well. Um, I felt like I needed something like this, just wanted something really, um, structured and just had every sort of I dotted and T crossed because I really didn't have any idea what I was doing. Um, it is the American system so um, there's three terms or semesters um, and yeah there's I think 12 weeks in each um, term. Um, so we're up to unit eight at the moment um, and yeah I've just sort of planned our year we've also got a baby due in like a few weeks so i've just sort of planned our year based on that and just that's the flexibility about homeschool is that you don't actually have to go with the um, australian school term um so this was what works for us and we also just sometimes take double time to do a few weeks but anyways i will just give you a run through of this week for example so um, this curriculum does cover pretty much everything, but I do some extra things like they do recommend doing some extra phonics and maths um, reading handwriting um, with it. I would say that in Australia, this is probably more of a reception year one curriculum. I'm actually doing kindy with my daughter, but the reason, um, as I said before, the reason that I really liked this was just having a lot of different types of literature and exposure to literature and just having a good head start on a bit of a um, routine, I guess, as well. And this has worked for us. We have done some things and left some other things out. So anyways, um, this has also just got a very strong sort of um, biblical moral focus. This is a strong Christian program. We're strong Christians, so we love it um, like that. Um, so um, this here is the virtue. So basically all of these headings here, um, I just um, most of them are up here on the board and so <clears throat> basically what I do is um, have a look at these um, get them out I've put all of the cards that are up on the wall here I've sectioned them into this big 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 folder um, and so for example unit one here I'll just grab out all of those and then swap them over um, once a week and then you can sort of see the next um, theme or topic. Um, so I've just got them sectioned out here into just the different units and things. Um, the kids quite like being able to point to these things up here. 
Um, and that's sort of how we organize it. So I've got like the whole year in here all ready to go. Um, so that's the memory st statement cards. And this is called the me memory statement um, board. So um, yeah, so we have a virtue and this is sung. Um, so the kids know this off by heart now easily. I'm pretty sure there's just one a term. Um, so that just stays the same. Um, manners and hygiene here. So this changes over each time. Everyday Graces is the book that she recommends. So she gives you a nice big book list. And um, I've got quite a few of these books um, that I'll show you. Um, but this Everyday Graces book, um, which is this book here. Um, we actually do this in the morning over breakfast as a family. So um, yeah, so she gives you the page number and that um, theme is all around that particular topic. I am grateful for all I have is this week. Um, so it's basically just a mixture of stories and poems and things. Um, the hymn, so we have one hymn a term. Um, so that's the hymn, math, um, counting by twos. Zara's not up to counting by twos, but we're just exposing her to just different ways of doing it. I'm doing that as well as some other math things. Um, and then catechisms. Um, so yeah, our kids, both a two-year-old and a four-year-old pretty much know their catechism now. We've been doing it for eight weeks um, and they pretty much know it off by heart. It's amazing how kids can do that. This is the Bible story. Um, so a mixture of two books here, which are in our morning basket, which I'll go through and um, the scripture that we are memorizing. So this is, we're onto our second scripture. So being unit eight, we've already done one scripture and now we're onto our second one. Um, the kids um, are really good at that. We just do it every day. Um, but yeah, this is the planning um, guide rather than um, what we actually use in our morning basket. We d I don't use this in my morning basket. Um, I just use this for planning and just redoing the board. Um, we are actually doing a bit of the nature, so um, we're not doing all of it, um, but it sort of coincides. It's like the science unit of this program. Um, Zara's favorite part, the wonder tales. So there's a story um, or a wonder tales sort of for each week. So this week was the little hero of Holland. Um, and so it comes with, um, this program comes with a story pack here and um, basically a whole lot of characters that are cut out or I, I cut them out, laminate them and she sort of just role plays with them. Um, this box is actually from a toy that the kids got for Christmas. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's like different backgrounds and things. This is going with the story with the boy um, from Holland. Um, so basically what I do is I get my story pack folder out um, and I've sort of sectioned it here. I've got some like pop sticks if the kids want to like blue tack them on and sort of, you know, play with them like that. Um, these are all the backgrounds um, and she'll tell you sort of what background to use for what story. They're all laminated. And then here is um, the just week by week, the different stories. So um, this one was Three Little Pigs. Uh, I think that one was The Ugly Duckling or Red Hen. Boy, yeah, anyway, you get the idea, the Red Riding Hood. Um, so yeah, it's really great. We've just done Beauty and the Beast. Um, so that was really good. She absolutely loves it and she knows that on Thursdays, she's allowed to get the next story out with me when um, it's quiet time. So that's her quiet time activity on Thursdays. Um, so she just loves that and it's just, yeah, really great. Um, all right, and then we do a nursery rhyme. Um, so this week we're doing Humpty Dumpty um, and she um, gives you quite a few treasuries. So these are a couple of the books here um, that basically have most of the tales and the nursery rhymes in. And I just needed <laughs> needed someone to tell me what books to buy because I had no idea what books were sort of good. And I just yeah really wanted those recommendations. And these books are absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, this is the book, uh, with both of these books here, um, are the, you know, go along with the wonder tales. Um, and they're just beautiful and just beautiful pictures as well. Um, and yeah, most of them are like longer stories. Um, and so sometimes we read, um, a whole story. So this one here is Beauty and the Beast. 
Sometimes we read like a whole story um, all in our morning time. Um, but if it's a bit longer, I'll just read half and then half the next day. So um, this Beauty and the Beast was um, a much longer one. Um, she loves these pictures. Um, and yeah, I just, I love it. It's um, not Disney, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just really great. And I just, yeah, I love a lot of these stories as well. Um, some of them I know and some of them I didn't grow up with at all. So, um, but yeah, I'm really, really loving it. I think it's just, yeah, great books. Um, all right, so poems. Um, so yeah, she's written a poem here. I've actually hired this book from the library um, and I just, yeah, use it week by week um, and it works fine. So I don't know, I don't really like open this to use this part. Um, I just really read the poem to my kids. We're not reciting it. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just don't feel like my kids are ready necessarily for it. a whole lot of different um, things to recite because they're already reciting, you know, like the catechism and the um, scripture. Um, they pretty much know the nursery rhymes because we do them over and over and then these virtues here. Um, so I'm sort of putting that bit down the priority list. I think if they were a year older, um, which is probably really what the program's recommended for, yeah, we'd probably spend some more time doing this, but um, yeah. And then sometimes she writes, read over two units. So that's like two weeks. Um, and yeah, so that's part of our morning basket. Um, art and music. So the way that this program works is it goes one week art, and this is how we use it, one week art and one week music. And we do that on a Tuesday afternoon. Um, so we're normally out on a Tuesday morning or doing a catch up with a friend. Um, and so this is sort of like an afternoon activity. Um, and yeah, so basically we do, um, so a composer study. Um, so this week, um, obviously here was about music. Um, so we're studying the same composer for the whole term, for the whole 12 weeks. Um, she gives you, um, there's a Spotify list with this program. So she gives you some specific music to listen to. There's a instrument that is, um, the focus for the week, which is really the fortnight cause it doesn't swap over again for the fortnight. Um, and then this book, the story of the orchestra is the main book to go with this music side. Um, so they give you a page number. Um, but the cool thing is with that book is I'll just get it. It's over here. Um, it actually has a CD. So I have the CD in the CD player up there. And um, the kids like flick to the instrument. Um, and it has a um, number here. So it says like play track 29. Um, and so we, they just think it's the coolest thing being able to listen to that instrument. And then sometimes we, you know, go back on the other instruments and sort of flick through and play those um, as well. Um, and yeah. I quite like this book. Um, it doesn't just obviously show instruments, it shows different composers and styles of music as well. So yeah. Um, and yeah, then she also recommends using some um, uh, different cards, like some different games, different sorting games. Um, I do this sometimes um, when we have time. So I've sorted it all out into some folders. So I get my, um, so here's the art and music pack. Um, so we'll get that out and then I can just show you. Um, so this was all like a PDF. Um, so this is both art and music. So um, these are some games, some flashcards. She gives you ideas of what to do with them. Um, this is also the art stuff, some coloring in pages color mixing so yeah we sort of focus on um a different sort of topics so for example with um art um so they give you like one of these sort of each week roughly um i've laminated all these so we get them out we ask some questions about the painting and um talk about it and then they give you sort of a an activity to do so Vermeer here is the artist and um, that's the focus for the term. So yeah, and it changes over. So we've recently done this one. Um, so yeah, it's just great. Um, I'm learning so much as well. Um, learning different types of art and sort of how to teach your kids that. Um, so it's been really helpful. So this all comes with the program. 
Um, I haven't used these slush guards heaps. Um, still kind of getting used to everything, but yeah, they're there. All right, so, um, and then on the side here, she just gives you a book, uh, like a whole heap of books that you need. Um, and then other resources. So this is for the week when you're planning it ahead and you're like packing your morning basket and you're swapping books over and things. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, just different things. We haven't used this music at home. Um, I was a piano teacher, so I'm gonna teach Zara the piano myself, but um, yeah, she's just not at an age yet ready for that. But um, that is sort of like teaching kids music, a membership for that. Yeah, so then week by week, it just goes over the same sort of thing. I love it, it's just really simple, really well laid out. And at the start of this, um, there is a lot to read um, and I just, I just learned so much like it was so good all about as well about planning and how to schedule and I just really felt like I needed to learn all of that so it took me a while to read it but I'm so glad she's just done such a good job um, having it in there so as the teachers guys I'm just gonna go through quickly just um, a few different things that we've got and sort of how I use them so this is the nature um, I'm not gonna go through this like really extensively but this is the nature guide um, teachers manual um, for this program. So this is a separate um, purchase. I do feel like this um, is a little American, um, as in more the Northern Hemisphere. Um, but at the same time, I'm actually, like if I was to make the decision again, I probably would still buy it because it's just like teaching, so, teaching me so many things about how to teach nature um, and sort of how to sort of sort your um, week out and things. So. Yeah, it's just a good um, introduction as well to Charlotte Mason method. Um, so yeah, she gives you um, just like, we have a project to terms. We've done um, raising a caterpillar to a butterfly, um, which was amazing. I've never done that before. Um, and you sort of have like a, um, a, a focus every fortnight. So this is a fortnightly sort of swap over. Um, and it is meant to go hand in hand with the, um, the preschool or it's now called the primer um this one here that we just went through um so yeah i just feel like there's so many ideas there's so many book recommendations i really needed that um this um has three different levels we're using level one um and you can either use spanish or french we're using french so she gives you a whole lot of flashcards. um these are the core books so i add, I add these to my morning basket um, and the read alouds add them as well. Um, and you're picking um, sort of these things here, um, one, one each um, of those a fortnight to sort of follow along with. Um, yeah, and I just, I love this section here. There's just this, like heaps of ideas here of sort of um, what to do, where to go, even like good questions to ask your kids stuff like that um and then it goes to the next fortnight so yeah it's quite good um we do some things and other things we leave um so that's the um teacher's guide and then this here is um oh, just a whole lot of printouts and flashcards and things that i've done that sort of go with that i do feel like some of these will be good um for the future they're probably just a little bit too old right now for us um but great ideas the coloring and sheets are good we use those um yeah just whatever we're focused on she just gives you heaps of stuff like this here is all about the bee um and that's obviously we'll do that later on in the year but yeah she's really well organized and i quite like that um these are the books here that we have been using or are going to use with the nature program um this here so there's a read aloud each term so the read aloud, where are we? Here we go, frog and toad. This is the read aloud for the first term. Um, so remember there's three terms, so there's three books. Um, there, This one's a treasury, um, so we almost finished this. Um, it's really good. I'm just glad like that, yeah, we've bought them and sort of they're now part of our library. They're just really good quality literature books. Um, sometimes it's hard to come across some of those. <laughs> um, so that's one, that's two, that's three. There are three term books. Um, and then these ones here. Um, oh, so this book here um, is a book that we sort of 
use to sort of flick through whatever topic we're doing. So she does give page recommendation, page number recommendations with those. Um, and I also use along with those, I use um, these ones here um, and you can buy these, I'm pretty sure in Target. Um, so we're doing, as I said, we're doing water birds at the moment. So that one's a big one on birds. Um, so between that one, this one, and this one, um, I can sort of find the bird um, and we sort of just swap it up um, or, or the topic or whatever it is, if it's frogs or something. Um, and just, I put them in um, the morning basket or in here um, and we just, yeah, flick over that each time. If I like one, a different book a day. Um, this here is, I actually reckon this might be a book that we need for a, a term further on, maybe term two or three. Um, I haven't actually read that one yet. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and then this here is a science activity book. Um, I just felt like it was great doing a lot of nature stuff, but I just felt like probably more the um, science experiments and chemistry and things. Um, I just wanted to expose my kids to a little bit of that. Um, I got this off Amazon. Um, and I actually like set up stuff for them to do with their dad with this. Um, so for example, here we like, it's like each page is, um, something different. Um, so yeah, I've actually, um, yeah, just sort of set stuff up. I'll just get all the stuff organized already. It's simple stuff you can do and it's just something fun, easy, a little activity the kids can do with their dad. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, all right, going across. So I've already explained that part. These are my folders I've got. So, um, art and music already done that story pack already done that with there. Um, French, that's just a whole lot of sort of French flashcards and things. Um, science and zoo. Um, so, so for the science and zoo, um, folder, basically we have a zoo membership and, we go to the zoo um, every fortnight and I've just made these, um, this is not with the dental classical program, this is separate. Um, I've made these little scavenger hunts um, to use either just us or with the homeschool group that we're a part of. Um, and I'm trying to sort of put it on the weeks that, um, you know, we learn about, I don't know, certain animals to do with the nature program. It doesn't always work like that, but yeah. So I've sort of made them up myself. Um, and we print them, put them on little boards and the kids sort of go off and tick where they're from. Um, and then these here are just some, just different printouts and stuff that she um, gave you access to. I've printed them out. We obviously haven't, you know, done astronomy or anything yet. Um, but yeah, I just sort of printed them out, keep them handy um, for when we do do some more bigger topics like that, which probably won't be this year. Um, so I just sort of all sectioned off in there. Um, all right, so kindy math. So um, that is, uh, I probably won't go through that. There's not really a whole lot to that. It's just, again, some things that she gives you, print, um, things you can print out and use. Um, this is my sort of planning um, PD. <laughs> um, folder and I've also got some big posters in there that um, I'm just sort of swap around and display in our schoolroom. Stuff that she's given or stuff that I've found elsewhere. Um, and then this preschool morning binder, I use this every week. So um, I'll just sort of show you sort of how I go about, um, you know, what I do every week, just to sort of swap the cards over and things. So I need this, I need my morning basket. Um, I need the memory statement cards um, and obviously this curriculum here, the teacher's guide. So um, yeah, so basically what I do, we have um, this morning basket here, which has got the books that she recommends um, in this folder that we were going through. Um, and I'll basically just swap them over. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you this morning basket. Um, so this here is the um part where the different songs are the catechisms this is something separate um that you actually purchase 
um, called Meaningful Preschool um, and it goes along with this Gentle Classical too. Um, so this is, yeah, part of the morning basket. Um, I don't have to swap anything over. That's all just the same all year. So that just stays there. That's the first book we use. Um, and then basically I just have the book. So this has got the nursery rhymes. This has got the um, different fairy tales and things in there. Um, and I just sort of put like, yeah, just some little sticky notes or, um, you know, bookmarks, things like that. Um, this, um, these are the two Bible books um, that she recommends. She gives you the page numbers and things. And I just flip, um, change over these sticky notes each time. Um, I've also got just some little sticker books <laughs> for my kids. So when they, it's like these, it's a bit destroyed. And this is Zara's. Yeah, so basically when they finish the morning basket, they're allowed to get a sticker. Um, now I don't have, um, uh, and then the other book that goes in there is this Frog and Toad. This is the morning basket. Um, Oh uh, yeah, that's all. So that's um, that's our morning basket. She does give you a recommendation of how to plan out the morning basket in sort of like what order to do things and um, what she recommends. This is what works for us. It is a shorter sort of basket. Um, so basically I get the kids up on the bed there, um, on the couch um, when we're doing those. Um, that one, the storybook. And then about here, um, I, I get them to sit on the rug and I do these um, read alouds. So one um, one day is this book and the next day is that book. So it just goes that book, that book, that book, that book. Um, and yeah, quite good. I do feel like this one's probably a little bit older, um, but I just feel like it's good to expose, expose them to good literature. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's our morning basket. Um, Okay, so this is the preschool morning binder. Um, so this, um, I use this when I'm like replanning everything on a Sunday. Um, and this goes with over here in this basket. Um, these ones here. So I actually don't use these with the morning basket. Um, I understand some people do. I use these separately. So we've sort of got three sections, um, which are these three baskets here. So this basket here is the morning sitting on the couch basket. A lot of reading. This basket here is the one I use in the afternoon. And then this basket here is the morning activities that sort of go after the morning basket. So they're more the things that the kids actually do. So we get that basket out after that basket's finished, if that makes sense. All right, so this here um, is part of that basket there. <laughs> um, and I just have these out on the table, things to trace, they're double-sided, use them with a whiteboard marker. Um, so this stays the same, that one, and I changed that over. I changed the letter over because it's a different letter of the week. And this one stays the same. So this is um, obviously what day it is, month, and the date. So I just have those three out and she fills them in. We don't do them every day, but at least try and do them once or twice a week. So basically you just open up to the contents here. You find your week, so it was week eight. So it's the letter H. So I've got my letter H. Um, and counting to 10 and rectangle. So yeah, I basically just find, this is the big folder. And so I just get the rectangle, get the different letter out. Um, and then when I have to swap it over again, I slip them back in um, and swap it over for the next one. Um, so yeah, just a cute little activity to do. This is also good just to, um, for her to do it on her own. So sometimes she just, um, I just even have them out sometimes before breakfast on the dining table and she'll just do them. So um, yeah, I quite like that. Easy peasy. Um, all right, so I've gone over the morning basket. Um, all right, before I go over these two, I might just go over what's in front of me here. So these are the readers that we use. Um, I can't remember how I found out about these. I think it even might've been from this program. She recommended them. Um, so this is by a group called Dash Into Learning. Um, I just found it hard to come across some really cute like readers. Um, 
that sort of followed along a, a nice story and just were um, had beautiful sort of pictures. Um, this lady seems to do a good job. Um, I think I'll do a separate video on how to exactly use these, but these um, we just sort of stick to one at a time. Um, I'm not up to this one yet, but we will be soon. So I've got like all three sets. Um, and I've also got um, the activity pack, um, which just has like different bingo games, different coloring in sheets to go with that book. So each book has obviously a different title, introduces maybe a new character or something new. And then I've sectioned these out just to, there's probably two or three, um, you know, different activities or maybe more um, with each book. And so we get those out sort of as something fun to do in the afternoon to go with the book. Um, and then these books here are all the books that she has had on her book list with the program that, um, yeah, you, you sort of put in your morning basket and you do. Um, so, um, we haven't, we're not up to a whole lot of these, but we've done a few of them so far. Um, some of them are to, you know, go alongside of the music, um, and art program, um, Others are just read alouds, stories, things like that. Um, so yeah, it was really good having that book list. This is the um, art and music curriculum. So that um, I actually do normally slip in the art and music folder there. Um, so I've just binded that um, and just, it's good that she just goes over clearly what to do each week in regards to um, art and really explains it and then gives you a page to go alongside with with this book so this book you need um, yeah I just have a good read of that um, in a particular week of whatever that is when I'm planning my next fortnight um, and just get the materials out and things like that ready um, all right so I'm just gonna go through these two baskets with you to finish off this video <laughs> let's get a long video um, all right so this one here is my basket that I use um, in the afternoon. So this is, we have like a quiet time. So say if we've gone out in the morning, um, I, you know, don't try and do this in the morning. I'll come home, we'll have lunch and have a quiet time. And then after quiet time, get into these things. So, um, all right. These here are just some books. I've got some for Obi and some for Zara. I've just found them in Target. Just some little books to do um, up on the table. Um, it's a mixture of sort of mass writing, like handwriting. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff. Just, it's just fun um, stuff for the kids to do. Um, so, and then this here is a book that I'm going through um, teaching Zara to read. So it's um, teach your child to read in 100 easy lessons. Um, and we just do about one a day or about one every second day, probably on average over the week. Um, and that basically needs a little whiteboard. Um, so I've got the whiteboard and, um, you know, got some whiteboard markers and things. Um, this here is um, the orchestra book I was showing before. Um, and this goes with you know, whether we're doing music or whether we're doing art um, each fortnight. I just like to have it in the afternoon one just because it's something that we do on a Tuesday afternoon. We're doing art or music. So that's just in my afternoon basket. Um, and I've just put a little ticket in there because that gets changed over every fortnight. And then this here is a little um, preschool math sort of book that they recommend with this program. We're going through that. It's um, quite easy, um, even like my two-year-old's doing it. And part of that is you just have a whole lot of counters. So I've just got a whole lot of unit blocks in there. Um, and then finally, we don't use this every afternoon at all. Um, my kids pretty much know this now. Um, but this is a program that my mum actually used with her year ones. Um, and they use it at their sort of school over reception as well, year one, year two. Um, just learning the different phonics um, and sort of actions, hand actions um, to go with it. So, um, yeah, so that's the little flashcards that go with those. Um, they are called sound waves. Um, that's all for that basket. Okay, and then the final basket. <coughs> 
this one. Um, so this is what we do after the morning basket's finished. So we've been on the bed, we've like read some of our bigger read alouds, done activities on the ground, and then I move them over to the table in the schoolroom. So I've got these and I set them up already. I've got little tags in them. So we've either got mass, handwriting, and this is another handwriting book. Um, they're both pretty quick. This handwriting book actually went with the readers. So um, I bought the PDF and bound it myself. Um, really cute, love it. Um, and then this here is the maths activities um, that they give you with the um, preschool, classical um, curriculum. And so they just give you something to do each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and they recommend getting some bean bags. I got these bean bags, one to 20 from Officeworks. Um, just got a whiteboard, marker and cloth, obviously to go with these books. These books I just got from Target, a little genius brand, love it. Um, yeah, so that is my um, overview of the preschool classical curriculum um, with a bit of nature and a few other things and how we use that and sort of how I plan plan my week um, or my fortnight. <laughs>